Welcome back. We are here looking at the ETFs. So this is going to be my daily forecast for Friday, July 16, 2021. If you like to support our channel, you will hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button to see our new videos, and you're welcome to join us over at Patreon. The link is down below. So we're looking at ARK Innovation, and this has basically played out as I thought it would be. So it ran into massive resistance here at 132, and uh, this was not a trend change. Uh, matter of fact, it was basically due to this massive fall here that we had a rally. The reason why we, from a technical standpoint, why we basically fell here is because we are running into, we just got above the 50 uh, Fibonacci retracement and ran into basically the 61.8 Fibonacci retracement. And now we are basically falling again. We are testing the 50 moving average down here and have basically pulled back. And we may see a rally in the next two days as we are basically fairly overstretched here and also fairly over nearly oversold in the RSI. So a pullback towards a rally up towards 125, give or take, that could be possible um, the next two, three trading days. But as we see that, we can basically make a prediction here for where we probably will end up. So we have Fibonacci predictions here. We see that we have the 61.8 here. And uh, at the moment, we have broken through the 23.6. We have the 38.2 right here, roughly just above the 300 moving average. If that basically breaks, then the 50 moving average is down here. And the 61.8 is down here at the 23 level. That basically means that we'll create a new low. So we're technically making lower lows. We have this rally here. Looks like we're going back to the very highs. But matter of fact, we could actually be making lower lows. And this will go lower. There are signs that the market is going to change in the near future. Not just uh, these ETFs, but uh, the market in general. Like the rally that we have seen is about to stop, and we are probably going to see uh, quite a bigger pullback in the market. But um, still, we need to basically break below the 300 moving average in order to uh, see that occur. MACD is uh, bearish at this point. RSI is also bearish. CGI is bearish. Stochastic is bearish. Momentum is definitely downside. But due to the fact that we are very low in the RSI and we are at the bottom of the bullish band, we could see a rally before going lower. So let's look at DVI. So DVI has also broken. We have broken below the 100 moving average. But we're probably going to have a crossing of the 20 exponential and 100 and the 40 exponential and the 100 and in general, we are seeing the same thing uh, over the market, not just uh, this, but foreign exchange markets and so on. That trend is definitely changing. Probably due to the, the fact the US dollar is starting to appreciate and uh, will most likely um, start appreciating uh, for the foreseeable future. Of that, that will, of course, have major implications for the entire market in general, as the US dollar has been depreciating the last year. So... MACD is flat in bearish territory. We can see the RSI is also bearish. The stochastic is, the CCI is bearish and so is the stochastic. And we are approaching the bottom of the bullish band here. We are trading at 116 at this point and to break below this candlestick here, that could open the door all the way to 200, 150 moving average down here at 111. Doesn't look very bullish here. There's no signs of bullishness uh, whatsoever. And the rally up towards the 20 exponential will most likely be sold into. So let's look at VTI. So VTI has also pulled back um, towards the 20 exponential and then we have rallied a little bit, but we're still low here. So we hit the middle of the Bollinger Band and if that basically breaks, then we could be heading towards the bottom and that would be below the 50 moving average. MACD is crossing, RSI is crossing, CCI is also uh, bearish and so is the Castic. Momentum is really changing here uh, to the downside, but there have been the 50 moving average, the 40 and the 20 exponential that all have uh, offered massive support in the past. So let's look at MCHI. MCHI has rally, and this is uh, not strange for being, it's a little bit early, but usually at the end of the month, it tends to, or 
coming to the end half uh, the last two weeks uh, 10 days at the end of the month it tends to basically rally we can see it here we can see it here and now let's see it yet again and so a little rally there a real loud rally there so th the way this this has been behaving it's not strange we're still in a in a downtrend we can see that we're still making uh, lower lows so here here and uh, this rally will most likely go up towards the 200 moving average before going even lower um, economic data from China was not really good. And uh, yes, the market is changing. Uh, these technical indicators, they are turning around. We could expect uh, ra this rally to continue up towards around the 200 moving average before um, declining again. So let's look at um, IBB. So IBB has also pulled back today, down 0.34%. MACD is still bullish, but about to cross the seed line. RSI is bearish, CCI is bearish, and so is the stochastic. And we probably the first major support will be down here at 431. So that is a drop of roughly 1.38% to the downside. And if that breaks, we'll probably be looking at a very drop all the way down to the very bottom. So to 420, give or take, a massive drop there, but uh, that is to be seen. We could also be bouncing off the 20 exponential like we saw here and the 50 as well as they have offered massive support in the past. So, hope you find this helpful. If you want to support your channel by subscribing, hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos. And good luck and thank you very much.